Hi, it's David here in ISR3 with 4590 Greenblitz. Greenblitz has a wonderful season so far, and today we'll talk about their amazing robot. Their multi-gripper that can do both coral and algae. They can do coral on L3, L2, L3, and L4. They can do a climb very fast and everything more on behind the bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. Okay, so we have our end effector that picks up both algae and corals. To be legal in the spray parameter, we have these flaps that help us intake the coral that get bent over by the, by the steel wire and then I buy the spin that is attached to the chassis by a, by a spring. When we open it up, it, 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 and it disconnects the pin and then the flaps come out. So we can pick up both algae and, uh, and coral. Uh, intake, please. Turn on the hole. Okay, so we have our flaps. It, uh, previously we had a shorter flaps that didn't, didn't need to get bent over, but after we added those, it, it started uh, very consistently every time uh, picking up the coral. Uh, okay, uh, pick up algae. We use the same wheel uh, to pick up both algae and, uh, and, and coral in this way. Okay, uh, so this is our elevator and also our mechanism. Uh, we wanted those two to be as rigid as possible. So we can see this, that this axis, uh, axle is a, is a bad axis. Uh, and uh, when we wanted to do it, we, need the, we had to find a better solution for the can code that we wanted to place there. If you look here, uh, there is a can code right here. Uh, that we use to that we can use to find uh, the placement of the arm, and what is interesting about uh, this uh, placement is that it's a it's a virtual forebar that we use um, to put the can code outside of the arm. Uh, we in uh, the elevator we use counterweights, use counterweights uh, to ensure the elevator can open and close as fast as possible. And also, the elevator is built in such a way that allows us to uh, close it faster than gravity. Uh, this is the reason we have two uh, sides to the, uh, two sides to the elevator. Um. Okay, so. Uh, the gearbox is uh, the elevator is uh, controlled by two krakens uh, at the bottom and is reset by this here limit switch. When we want to start the match, when we want to start the match, uh, we press it in and uh, we know where we are. Um, so finishing off with our climb, we have the ratchet assembly that is entirely custom made. It's also solenoid actuated. It starts on from the planetary gearbox, goes on to a custom uh, gear ratio. And this is solenoid actuated. This opens that way with the solenoid and we can reclose it. And it's ratcheting, because the solenoid is mounted on the spring, it's ratcheting the other way around. And talking about a latch assembly, we have uh, these two, we have this latch. It's a standard Everbot latch. You just have two rotation points instead of one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And what we do with the climb, it, one side pulls, one side pushes. It just uh, clamps onto the cage. And uh, the last thing about the climb is that we have these little flaps that protect the end, end effector from latching onto our climb uh, when we start the game. 
And finishing with our chassis, we have nothing important really, nothing too special except the bumpers, which actually have the swerve guards on them. The swerve guards are mounted on the bumpers. So, um, some cool uh, stuff in our programming is and our control system. Uh, I, start with, I start with our vision system. Um, we have a Limelight 3 that we switch the sensor in it to have a three a, a global shutter instead of a rolling shutter. Um, this helped us to improve our vision and to get a better knowledge of where we are. We can also see it here on the Limelight that is pointing to the feeder. Um, yes. Another cool thing in our, uh, that we did in our, in our programming is we have a, a code component that we call a, a, the heading estimator. What, it, <clears throat> what it's doing is taking the measurements from our limelights and from our gyro in the beginning of the match and it's, it's using a Kalman filter to fuse them and from that we know what the, what's the angle um, of the robot will start the match. With this knowledge and um, we, with our pose estimator, we're doing the start of the autonomous from wherever we want in the field. We can start our auto from anywhere in the auto line and it will go to the uh, chosen branch um, with a generated path. This allows us to place the robot anywhere we want at any orientation as long as you can see uh, at least an April tag. Another cool thing in, in, our, <coughs> in our robot is the, the dynamic limit of our accelerations of the mechanisms. As you saw when we uh, ran the robot before, um, we grip our algae from here and we uh, move the arm all the way to the other side. Um, when we did it in, this, in Israel District 2, um, the algae fell a lot of times because the high uh, acceleration of the arm. What we did is between the districts, we added another carnivore and we used dynamic motion magic on our elevator and our arm. Um, this um, led us to um, change the max acceleration cruise velocity of the mechanisms and we also used it with our state machine and for each state of the robot we have a different acceleration for it which lets us to uh, rotate the, the arm slowly when we have an algae but very fast when we want to score a coral. Thank you so much Grand Beats 4590 from GSA Academy in Dakfar, Europe. I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the season and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started.